Hey guys, uh, we shall take up few more problems on finding step response of a system. Uh, the problem is h of n, it's a discrete time system, h of n is equal to, okay, solution. Okay, first we shall sketch the signal. So, uh, uh, h of n is a unit step function. So, unit step function, it looks like this. It starts from 0 and goes till infinity. Its amplitude is one, and this is n, right? So I have to write it in terms of k. The independent variable has to be written in terms of k, right? So what is the formula for step response? S of n is what summation k varying from minus infinity to n h of k. Since uh, in the formula we have uh, h of uh, impulse response in terms of k as independent variable. So I'll change this h of n to h of k. So how do we do that? Just replace n by k. Okay. Fine. Now what is this n? This n is slider, right? It is like it's my wish. I can give any value to this n depending upon the uh, impulse response h of 1. I can give value n uh, as 0. I can give it a 1. I can give it to 2. I can give it to 3. I can give it to 4. I can give it to 100. I can give it to till infinity, right? Fine. So if I give this n value as 0, what is the uh, impulse, uh, sorry, step response? It is 1. It is nothing but running sum, right? If I put this n here, it is nothing but what? Sum of all the samples from minus infinity till 1, right? So from minus infinity till minus 1, it is 0. So sum of all the samples are 0. Whereas at n equal to 0, its sample, uh, it sample is 1, so it is 1. When I keep this n here, what is the uh, step response? It is 1 plus 1, right? It is 2. If I keep it here, it is 3. Why 3? Because 1 plus 1 plus 1. If I keep it here, it is 6, right? Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I keep it at uh, 10, it is 11. If I keep it at 100, it is 101, right? Fine. So, this is how, uh, this is how, I mean, that's why we call it as actually uh, running sum, okay? Fine. So, we'll just take up this. Uh, problem so s of n is equal to summation okay so k is equal to our uh, step uh, impulse response start from where zero right so it is zero and ends at n fine and n is the slider n is the slider here okay and it it can take values right uh, it is one right h of k is one for k varying from zero to wherever the n value i i keep it okay and what is this? This is nothing but n plus 1, no? So because of the standard form, summation n varying from 0 to n, 1 is nothing but n plus 1. Fine. So we can cross check it. At n equal to 0, what is the sample? So 0 plus 1 is 1, right? At n equal to 1, what is the sample? 1 plus 1, right? So, so at n equal to 1, it is 1 plus 1. If n equal to 2, 2 plus 1, I get 3. So if this n is at 2, 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3. If, n, if I, this n is at 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. So if I keep it here, so all 6 samples will be added. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if I try to sketch this step response, this is how it looks like. At n equal to 0, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, and it goes on. In case if, if they ask you to sketch the step response, you can do it. Once you get S of n, you can sketch it. It's not a big deal. Okay. So, we'll take up one more. Uh, one simple impulse response H of n is equal to uh, delta of n minus delta of n minus 2. Fine. It's a finite length sequence. How does this sequence looks like? So, delta of n is nothing but at n equal to 0, I have an impulse of 1. Uh, delta of n minus 2 means what? Delta of n shifted right 2 times. So 1, 2. And its amplitude is scaled by minus 1. This is, this is minus 1. This is k. I will write it directly in terms of k. H of k. Right? Delta of n, this amplitude. Delta of n minus 1 is not there. So at, at 1 it is 0. Delta of n minus 2 it is here. Which is scaled by minus 1. 
fine so if i don't have to put the formula here actually directly i can say if n is here what is the uh, step response it is 1 right if n is here what is the step response it is also 1 right because 1 plus 0 it is 1 if i n if n is here what is the step response it is 0 right how it is 0 1 plus 0 minus 1 right if if n is at 2 if n is at 3 again 1 minus 1 0 if n is at 4 1 minus 1 0 n is at 5 1 minus 1 0 so till n equal to infinity it is 0 so therefore s of n is equal to what at n equal to 0 it is 1 at n equal to 1 it is 1 after 2 at n equal to 2 it, it becomes up uh, at n at n equal to 2 it becomes 0 0 0 and it goes on till infinity okay so we'll take up one more uh, let the impulse response h of n is equal to minus 1 by 2 power n u of n fine so s of solution s of n is equal to what summation k varying from minus infinity to n h of k so s of n is equal to summation k so our signal start from where the signal start from where if you want you can sketch and see but since i have u of n here so it starts from zero right okay and this u of n ends at infinity but in the formula it, it is n actually depending upon where is the sequence n and what is h of uh, h of k this is h of n if this is h of n what is h of k it is minus 1 by 2 power k and anyhow u of k is 1 for k varying from 0 to n i don't uh, i'll just write it as 1 okay so i'll uh, i'll write this as summation k varying from 0 to n plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 by 2 over k right uh, the reason i wrote like this because i wanted this in the standard form what is the standard form summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 alpha power n is what 1 minus alpha power capital n over 1 minus alpha so this n has to be power in the alpha right hand side okay so if i apply this standard result what do i get 1 minus what is the alpha is this right minus 1 by 2 and this capital n in the sense what i have in the bracket right so small letter n plus 1 hold your by 1 minus alpha what is what is alpha minus 1 by 2 i'll just simplify this uh, s of n is equal to what 1 minus minus 1 by 2 power n minus 1 by 2 power 1 i just split at this whole divided by what is 1 plus 1 by 3 it is 3 by 2 right so minus of minus plus 1 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2 now s of n i'll take this 2 to the numerator 2 times of 1 minus minus of 1 by 2 power n minus 1 by 2 divided by 3 and if i take this 2 inside 2 times 1 is 2 minus and if this 2 is applied for this whole thing so when i multiply this 2 with this term so it is 2 times minus 1 by 2 is minus 1 and this minus 1 i will take it here ok so s of n is equal to what 2 times 1 plus minus 1 by 2 power n divided by divided by 3 so this is the step response uh, i'll take a few more uh, examples in the next video